Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. I am the Accord, and today we are going to be beginning a new series, as I have just finished up a story about my uncle. An amazing game, I'd say, and I'd seriously recommend that you play it if you can, and watch somebody play it if you can't. It has beautiful level design and everything else. So, let's just get right into it. I'm here to tell you how to kill people. This game is controlled with your WASD keys and mouse. Press the left mouse button to punch, aim for the face. Once you've knocked someone out, you have to finish them. To do this, you press space. You got it? Are you sure? Left mouse button is to punch, space to finish. Do you understand me? Don't mess this up. Okay. Alright, now you should try killing the next guy. Use the bed in the red room over there, okay? Press the right mouse button when next to it to take it. When you press the left mouse button to swing it. Did that get through your thick skull? Did it? Dude, you don't get to talk to me that way when you have like those boogers going down your nose. Right mouse to pick it up, left mouse to swing it. Are you even listening? Well, get to it then. So, right mouse button. Oh. Well done. So let's get to the guns, shall we? You go in and get the shotgun in the blue room. You do it the same way you picked up the bat. Just press the right mouse button. Can you handle that? Use the shift button to look for enemies out of, out of view. This is very useful for not getting yourself killed. You can press the scroll wheel to lock onto enemies. Just make sure to place your crosshair over them first. Right mouse button to grab. Shift to look. Left mouse button to shoot. Scroll wheel to lock on. Now go ahead and kill the guy in the yellow room. That voice kills my throat. Now let's see. Okay. Alright. That about sums up the basics. However, there's always more tricks to learn. You can throw any weapon you pick up by pressing your right mouse button. You can use doors to knock enemies over. Guns are very loud and will alert your foes. So plan your moves and use melee weapons when you can. God damn it. You'll just get yourself killed anyway. Won't you? Part 1. Phone calls. And who do we have here? Oh, you don't know who you are? Maybe we should leave it that way. But I know you. Look at my face. We've met before, haven't we? I don't know you. Why are you here? You're no guest of mine. You really want me to reveal who you are? Knowing oneself means acknowledging one's actions. As of lately, you've done some terrible things. You don't remember me. I'll give you a clue. Does April the 3rd mean anything to you? I believe that was the day of our first encounter. You look like you might be remembering something. Hmm. We appear to have a lovely apartment here. You have one new message. Beep. Hi, this is Tim at the bakery. The cookies you ordered should be delivered by now. A list of ingredients are included. Make sure that you read them carefully. Click. Thank you, Tim. 
The target is a briefcase. Discretion is of essence. Leave target at point F32 inside the dumpster. Failure is not an option. We'll be watching you. Ooh. Oh. Never mind. Was that Fierro? No, I doubt it. So we have Richard. And I'm guessing a whole list of... A long list of unavailables. So let's choose Richard. Oh. So that's what uh, was meant by doors knock enemies over. I thought it'd be something we'd actively have to do. I guess walking into the door like that is actively doing it, huh? Ah! And we start at the floor we were on. That is very cool. And we cannot retrieve items from an enemy's head once we've thrown them at him. Understandable. Nice. Go to the car. Oh. Okay, it appears we have to fight them. Very cool. See if I can get one of their attention. Very cool. And chapter done. Alright, we still have the brief. Oh, there's the dumpster. What's over here then? Oh, I can't go that way. Do I... right? No. Oh, it's this guy. Who's there? I can hear you. I know you're there. Oh. I thought I'd be able to talk to him since he was the tutorial guy. Huh. Goodbye, tutorial guy. Oh. How unsanitary. Ooh. That seems like a lot of points. B plus. Well, I mean, I did die a few times, so respectable, I suppose. New mask. Rasmus. That is certainly a name. Hey there, man. I haven't seen you around. Thought, thought something might have happened to you. You seemed really down over losing your girlfriend. Don't remember seeing you after that. Maybe we should talk about something else. So, uh, out for a midnight snack, huh? Oh, don't worry about it. It's on the house. Good to see you. Have a nice night. Thank you, Mr. Man. The plot thickens. Alright, so five days later. 
You have one new message, beep. Hello, it's Linda. I have need I need a babysitter. Right away. I got a few kids that need to be disciplined here. I'm at East Seven I'm at East Seventh Street. Make sure you have a long talk with them. I really need someone to get through to these rascals. And like and like last time, please be discreet. Click. Alright. Even with the supposed context, that's just Asking somebody to abuse your child. Oh yeah, discipline them, but uh, be discreet. Like, lady, what do you want me to do? Kill them like I'm going to kill these guys? <laughs> Alright, we have Richard and... Rasmus. An eye for secrets. Is this supposed to do anything? Hmm. Oh no. I should have used my owl senses. Otherwise known as, you know, actually using the shift button. A terrifying prospect, to be certain. Oh, what a guy. Very good, very good. I may have just gotten rid of my only weapon that I can use without alerting the whole place. I don't know how that happened, but I'm not about to complain. That is not what was intended to happen. Let's grab the gun just in case. Something like last time happens. Nope, seems we're all clear. Ooh. A mere 7,000 points until next weapon unlock. A plus grade. Will not complain. And now we got Tony. Tony, the. Well, it's not really a tiger, but. Uh... Hey there! Welcome! Oh. You don't need to order, your pizza's already done. I had a feeling you were on your way here. <laughs> well, uh, let's just leave it at that for now, shall we? Don't worry about paying. It's on the house. Ah, uh huh. And eight days later, I'm guessing it's the phone again. Yep. You have one new message. Beep. This is Thomas from the... Methadone Clinic. Or Methadone Clinic. You scheduled a short meeting for you tonight. We're at Northwest 184th Street. At apartment 105. And don't worry. We know discretion of... We know discretion is of importance to our clients. Click. Second chapter, Overdose. So we have an eye for secrets and fists of fury. 
Well, we got a new mask. We have to try it out, right? Hmm. I'm guessing it makes our fists more potent weapons because that's just something that makes sense. Oh, that completely missed. My bad, as they say. Seems good. Let's go up this way. Well, let's have a look around first. Lots of people. And the exact same thing happened again, because this one does not think ahead. This room is going to be a mighty pain in the rear end. Very good. Yeah, that's about what I thought. Very cool. We're in the same position. Where is... Oh no, my flailing has ended poorly for me. You're not supposed to be there. There, as it should be now. I use this? Oh. Now let's see. Pearl? I don't really get it, but Earl. Maybe that's his favorite type of tea. Oh. That was a nice, decent level. I reckon I got a nice, solid B on it. New weapon unlocked. 
Oh, C plus. A new mask, Aubrey. Earl! Oh, it's a walrus. New weapon. Oh my lord, we got a samurai sword. Dude, do you work everywhere? Hey dude, it's good to see you again. Did you hear about that massacre the other night? A bunch of Ruskies I heard. No loss if you ask me. They say some maniac wearing a rubber mask did it. Sounds like a scene straight from a slasher fic. <laughs> oh yeah, I have the perfect film for you. The, the one on the desk, take it, it's on the house. Enjoy yourself dude. Alright ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, today was, well, the first episode of Hotline Miami. If you've made it this far, please leave a like and a comment, perhaps even subscribe, and tell me what you think of this as a series. I'm probably going to commit to it since I've already started the missions seem pretty short, but I don't know how many there are. Regardless. Tell me some games you would like in the future. I can't promise anything, as I'm not made of money, and my time is not infinite, sadly. But I'm always open to, well, recommendations and suggestions, especially if you guys would like to watch them. So, thank you all for coming to join me, and I shall see you in the next video. Goodbye.